we're going to start out in our dashboard. And what a dashboard is, it's essentially a customizable page per, for each user. So I can, as a user, I can go and make a new tab or a new dashboard by simply clicking this plus button. Then I could rename it by either right clicking, hitting rename, or clicking the name and typing in what I want. So once you go and create a dashboard, the next step is to go and populate it with what we call widgets. So to access your apps or your tools in 3D Experience, you go to this compass up on the left of your interface. So going to our compass, we can go to our different quadrants here. I'm going to go up to my social and collaborative. And as I scroll down, I see a list of the apps or tools that are available to me. And we notice that some of them have an arrow on the top right of it where others don't. That we have the ability to drop it as a widget. And to do that, we just drag and drop it onto our interface. And we see two hash boxes that shows where we're going to be placing this. And as I drop it, we see it populates. And that's not the only way to drop a widget. You can also, if I was to go to 3D search, I can drop a search widget here essentially. And I can do a search from here and populate it. Or I could pull a search from my apps. And we see it's here. So we see that we do have the arrow here, but if I do click on it, we see that the, po the page just gets populated with that app. So I'll go and search this part. Now I can choose to drag and drop this onto my 3D Play and populate it with this part. But first, I can also pin it to my dashboard. So once I choose to pin it, I can choose which dashboard, dashboard I want to pin it to or which tab in that dashboard. And I'm just going to go and say add. 